Over the past 10 years, the undisputed king of CRM, Salesforce, has amassed an ecosystem of products that integrate seamlessly with one another. In this video, I'm going to be taking on the mammoth task of explaining every Salesforce product, its features, benefits, and add-on products in under 15 minutes. Are you ready? Let's go. Before diving into Salesforce's core products, it's important to draw an important distinction between Salesforce products that are part of the core platform and those that aren't. Whenever you hear anyone refer to the Salesforce core platform, they're referring to the main platform that Salesforce's initial and biggest products are built on, primarily sales and service clouds, but also many other products such as Salesforce industry solutions. The core Salesforce platform looks like this, and the UI you are seeing is called Lightning. However, older instances may be using Classic, which looks like this, and is considered pretty legacy by today's standards. The core Salesforce platform has two major advantages over some other products. Firstly, you can bolt on other products such as CRM Analytics or Salesforce Experience Cloud with minimal implementation. In addition, you also get access to the Salesforce platform, which is a set of tools that allow you to create completely custom experiences for your users and customers, taking advantage of features such as Salesforce Flow and the Lightning App Builder. To help guide you through this intricate world of Salesforce products, we'll use the following infographic to help outline the products and how they connect to one another. So first up, let's get started with the core Salesforce platform that sits at the center of our diagram. The Salesforce Sales Cloud is one of Salesforce's flagship products. It was first released in 1999 when the company was founded and supports companies in accelerating their sales cycle by providing tools to manage customers, leads, opportunities, businesses, and individuals they're working with. Primarily aimed at B2B businesses, Sales Cloud uses features such as quoting, product management, and forecasting to provide productivity gains and reporting oversights for managers. Add-on products for Sales Cloud include maps to support territory mapping, revenue analytics, Sales Cloud Einstein, and sales enablement to reach more customers. To follow on nicely from Sales Cloud, we have CPQ and billing. CPQ stands for Configure Price Quote and enables customers to go beyond the standard functionality of Sales Cloud products and quotes. CPQ has features such as product and price rules that help sales users build out accurate quotes for complex products. Just imagine trying to quote for a custom computer build that has different CPUs that must match with specific motherboards and graphics cards. CPQ can ensure you are building a 100% accurate quote in the most efficient manner possible. Billing is an add-on to CPQ that allows you to handle invoice payments and revenue recognition once the deal is done. Service Cloud is another one of Salesforce's flagship products that sits alongside Sales Cloud to support with customer service. It helps customers get in touch via email support, live chat, and phone. It then supports Service Cloud users in finding and processing a resolution to the customer's issue. Add-on products include telephony integration, WhatsApp integration, and Salesforce surveys to gather feedback from customers, and also a knowledge base to help publish help guides. If your team contains field agents who are delivering items, fixing machinery, or installing products such as internet landline, field service can support in dispatching, planning routes, scheduling appointments, and showing all relevant information via a mobile application. Salesforce Data Cloud, previously known as Genie, was launched at Dreamforce 2022, with Salesforce calling it one of their greatest innovations in the history of the company. Data Cloud allows you to ingest and store real-time data streams on a massive scale, and then automate tasks using this data, ensuring highly personalized experiences. Data can be ingested from various Salesforce data sources, including MuleSoft, Marketing Cloud, as well as customers' own proprietary apps and data sources. It can then act on this data in real time by automating actions through Salesforce CRM, Marketing Cloud, Commerce Cloud, and much more, including automating actions through Salesforce Flow. Experience Cloud is a fantastic tool where you can create unique digital experiences for different types of individuals that interact with your businesses. You can create online portals built for customers, partners, or even employees to help them interact with your Salesforce instance. For example, you can create a self-service customer support portal where customers can log in, ask questions to their peers, submit help requests, and view comprehensive knowledge bases. The Experience Cloud is primarily a low-code tool, meaning you can build these websites with no coding knowledge using drag-and-drop technology. Salesforce has been building industry-specific solutions for a few years now, including Financial Services Cloud, Health Cloud, and their Public Sector Cloud. These solutions take Salesforce's core CRM offering and create a specialized product more suited to specific industries. For Health Cloud, think less about accounts and contacts and more about families and patients. For Financial Services Cloud, think less about opportunities and products and more about financial holdings and assets. 
As a company, Salesforce is moving more towards industry solutions and now has more than 15 different products. Einstein is Salesforce's new AI layer, and whilst it isn't a standalone product, Einstein is baked into almost every Salesforce cloud. It contains an increasing number of free features in some editions, such as opportunity scoring in Sales Cloud, to determine how likely it is that an opportunity will close. But for the most part, Einstein features are paid add-ons that can help you solve cases faster in Service Cloud, determine the appropriate customer journey for customers in Marketing Cloud, or support personalized selling in Commerce Cloud. In March 2023, Salesforce announced the groundbreaking Einstein GPT product off the back of OpenAI's ChatGPT. This generative AI application will enable Salesforce users to generate responses to cases, sales emails, and even allow technical professionals to create flows and Apex code with a simple request. Sales enablement has taken inspiration from Trailhead and is designed to help upskill your workforce directly within Salesforce. It allows you to create custom learning paths and milestones that ties achievements back to Salesforce data. For example, sales reps may be required to create a certain amount of leads, close a deal of a certain size or send a number of emails before they automatically complete a learning path. One of Salesforce's most recent products, Net Zero Cloud, is a carbon accounting tool that allows you to take accountability for your company's carbon footprint. It helps you upload and process data from business travel, fuel, electricity and gas bills, as well as supply chain contributions. With out-of-the-box dashboards, you can easily identify the major areas of emissions, trends, and where you might need to take action. At Dreamforce 2022, Salesforce also introduced the Net Zero Marketplace, a separate platform that allows you to purchase carbon credits from vetted ecopreneurs from around the world and offset your carbon emissions. Work.com was created off the back of the coronavirus pandemic to help companies and communities open back up safely and perform tasks such as contact tracing. Since COVID restrictions have eased, Salesforce have expanded the Work.com product suite to a focus on employee wellness. The NFT cloud or Web3, as it has now been rebranded, is Salesforce's official move into Web3.0 technology. Web3 allows you to create the platform to create, mint, and sell NFTs, allowing you to find new audiences and deepen relationships with existing customers. Although NFTs are still very much an unproven technology in the world of retail, Salesforce have had some very successful customer success stories with Scotch and Soda, Crown Royale, and Mattel. Now, for many Salesforce users and technical professionals, the Salesforce platform is one of the biggest selling points of the Salesforce ecosystem. It allows you to create powerful customizations on the core Salesforce platform that enables you to tailor Salesforce products to your business. You can build out your own tables of data with custom objects, trigger automation with Flow, and build custom user interfaces using the Lightning App Builder. In addition to these important tools that most Salesforce professionals will use, you can also purchase more specialized products to help with specific use cases. For example, Heroku is a platform as a service tool. It allows you to deploy, manage, and scale custom apps that can be used directly for your customers. And Salesforce Shield is designed for companies that want that extra layer of security, allowing further encryption to Salesforce data, event monitoring, and field audit trails. Now, all the products mentioned up to this point have been built on the core Salesforce platform, but over time, Salesforce have acquired various other huge technology companies and then integrated them into their Salesforce ecosystem of products. Whilst these products often have seamless integrations into the core Salesforce platform using pre-built connectors, it's important to understand that they sit on their own platforms and do require some level of integration. However, there are a few exceptions to this, so let's dive in. The Salesforce Marketing Cloud, previously Exact Target, was acquired in 2013 and has a powerful suite of tools to automate marketing across email, mobile, SMS websites, and more. Marketing Cloud contains various modules that allow you to market on different channels and primarily has a B2C focus. Let's take a look at the eight distinct modules of Marketing Cloud. Sitting at the heart of Marketing Cloud, you have Journey Builder. This tool allows you to build powerful journeys that provide customers with a personalized experience. Journey Builder can work with many other Marketing Cloud products, allowing you to interact with customers across email, mobile, social, and on your website. Email Studio is another part of Marketing Cloud that allows you to create highly personalized email content using scripting languages or dynamic blocks. Mobile Studio is designed to focus on content creation for mobile. Using this product, you can craft messages that may be delivered via SMS, MMS, and push messages. Marketing Cloud Advertising, formerly Advertising Studio, helps you reach customers beyond email and mobile messages by providing a bridge to digital advertising platforms such as Google, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. 
Marketing Cloud Personalization, formerly Interaction Studio, can bring a whole new level of personalization for your customers. By understanding customers' behaviors on your website, the program can modify messaging on your web pages and tailor the experience with the kind of products and services that this individual customer is interested in. Marketing Cloud Intelligence, formerly Datarama, unifies all of your marketing tools so you have one source of truth. You can connect platforms such as Google, YouTube, Instagram with clicks, not code, using out of the box connectors. Once connected, Marketing Cloud Intelligence can show you trends, progress against goals, and the ROI of your marketing efforts. Loyalty management allows businesses to build loyalty programs at scale. You can create a variety of programs, including tiered memberships or points per purchase. As a newer product, loyalty management is actually built on the core Salesforce platform. Finally, we reach Marketing Cloud Account Engagement, formerly Pardot one of the more commonly used Salesforce products. Marketing Cloud Account Engagement is primarily a B2B marketing solution. The platform focuses on email marketing with additional features for landing page creation, form generation, as well as lead scoring and reporting. As one of the most common Marketing Cloud products, Pardot has a very tight integration with Salesforce and actually shares some common objects that sit on the core platform. Next up, we have Slack, which was the biggest acquisition in Salesforce history at $27.7 billion. Slack is a messaging app for businesses. It allows you to message your colleagues directly or communicate with them via dedicated channels set up for a specific purpose. For example, you could use a channel for a project or for your regional office. Salesforce has created a seamless integration into Slack that means you can trigger notifications and pass information between the two systems easily. With the amount of information all businesses collect, data must be at the heart of any business strategy. And Salesforce offers a couple of solutions that go beyond standard Salesforce reports and dashboards to provide deeper insights into your data. Tableau is a beloved business intelligence tool that was acquired by Salesforce back in 2019. Tableau still remains an off-platform solution and is more suited for data analysis across the business. There is also an option to have Tableau run on-premise. While CRM Analytics is native to the Salesforce platform, it allows you to use Salesforce data as well as any data from external sources to embed analytics within Salesforce. MuleSoft was a key acquisition for Salesforce in 2018. Their platform gives you the chance to easily connect to any systems using a myriad of out-of-the-box connectors. MuleSoft has the AnyPoint platform, which allows you to manage your API connections, run integrations and monitor and report, all from one cloud-based system. One of the biggest selling points of MuleSoft is the hundreds of existing connectors they have meaning you can integrate to mainframes, ERP systems, and SaaS applications using tried and tested templated solutions. Salesforce also recently announced MuleSoft Composer, a lightweight admin-friendly version of MuleSoft that sits within Salesforce. Quip was another important acquisition that brought Brett Taylor to Salesforce, who previously served as Quip CEO and then co-CEO of Salesforce until he left in 2023. Quip is like Slack and Google Docs rolled into one, it provides powerful word processing and spreadsheet tools with collaboration in mind. The platform includes features such as Quip Chat, Quip Slides, and integration with Salesforce to bring through live data to the dock. And now we arrive at our final destination, Commerce Cloud. Commerce Cloud was another huge acquisition for Salesforce that encompasses both B2C and B2B technologies and has hundreds of out-of-the-box features that allows retailers to create amazing online experiences for their shoppers. Commerce Cloud has all the features you'd expect from Salesforce. It's mobile ready, integrates seamlessly with Service Cloud and other Salesforce products, and has Einstein AI enabled features. If you're interested in seeing some real life examples of Commerce Cloud, check out two of Salesforce's most prominent customers, Puma and Adidas. B2C Commerce is built on a separate technology stack using JavaScript and web technologies, whilst B2B Commerce is native to the Salesforce core platform. To sit alongside both B2B and B2C Commerce Cloud, Salesforce has developed order management. This application is built on the Salesforce core platform and allows you to fulfill orders using automated workflows. If you're still with me, congratulations. You've just learned about every Salesforce product available. Salesforce has a huge amount of products and it's impossible to be an expert in every single one. However, it's important to understand the capabilities of each of them so you can recommend them to your business or client when need arises.